see who is joining but I hope there are people coming on live with us hi Claire hi that's great thank you for joining Awesome. Welcome, everyone. Just waiting so um, some more can join us. I've just received a message on Facebook, so I must just look at that because it's somebody struggling to get on. Um, just keep keep joining in. I hope you've got somewhere nice, comfortable to lie down or sit. There's somewhere nice and warm. Maybe get a drink to have for afterwards. Drink of water. Sharon. Hope you're doing good. Hi, Lindy. Uh, I don't know why they can't get through, Lindy. I'm not sure what's going on there. So we'll just wait a few minutes and hopefully people will be able to join us. I actually can't see who is here and who is not because I'm actually on my I'm on my laptop and normally Facebook has changed things normally you can see who's coming on but I actually can't see Yeah, lovely to see you too, Sharon. Well, 
Well, the good thing about Facebook Live is that um, it's recording and we can put it out afterwards so people can um, follow the sound bath tonight, even when they're going to bed or any time. It just goes to show that I haven't done a Facebook Live in a long time because this is all new to me. Normally you can see who's coming online and I'm not seeing it unless you actually message. So I, I don't quite know what's going on there. Um, but just the way it is. How's everybody doing? Uh, yeah, there's only one live event, uh, Claire, so I'm hoping that people will go to the events and find it. I mean, the, the link, it all should link to the same sound bath event page. So whether it's from my business page or whether it's from my personal page, it should all link to this live, hopefully, fingers crossed. That's if I've done it right. <laughs> I wish I could see how many were actually on with us. It's a shame I can't. Um, let me just see if I can. See if I can see what's going on here. No, that's not right. No, I can't see. Yeah. So everyone who's come online. If you are able to, can you please send a message? That's a good idea, John. Just to let me know that you are there. Even do a heart on the message. And please share this live if you can, if you're able to do this. Please share this live on your page so we can get some more people on. Be great to see you all here. Hi, Marina. Hi, everyone. Please, if you can, if you're coming on board, please just send a quick message. Hi, Pamela. Heidi, great, that's awesome. Angela, that's great. We're getting more people coming on. Wonderful, wonderful. Hello from Devon, that's wonderful. Marina, you're in Devon. Oh, we're from Dorset. Welcome. So, I think what we'll do is, since it's nearly quarter past seven, we'll carry on and do it, and maybe if we all share afterwards, then people can, um, like I said earlier, they can actually jump on board, watch the recording, and listen to it whenever they want, whether it's in bed tonight or in the morning or wherever because it's going to be extremely 
Um, hi, Catherine. Yes, I'm getting your messages. I'm just about to be able to see that. Um, and then uh, people can do it whenever they want. So the recording is going to be, go out afterwards. Oh, well done, Marina. That's wonderful. Thank you. She set her alarm to come do this. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So we're going to get to it. Uh, this music that is also playing here is um, of the frequency of the heart and love. So we've got lots of love vibes going on. I'm just going to move back and sit over there and we'll start. So get yourself somewhere nice and comfy. Hi, Sean. Glad you made it. So nice and comfortable. Lying down or sitting down, wherever you are. And just closing your eyes. Taking in a beautiful deep breath. Just breathing in. Taking in a beautiful deep breath. Breathing in again. And out. Just feeling your body relaxing as you breathe out. So I want you to think of something where you felt the most unconditional love. Often it's uh, a person or a child or a pet even, or sometimes even a place where you might have been and where you just felt so connected. So I want you to hold on to that feeling and breathe that feeling in. Breathing it in, a lovely deep breath, breathing in that beautiful unconditional love. Feeling it fill your heart space, feeling your heart expand out and breathing out. And on the out breath, you're releasing what no longer serves you from your entire being. And feeling your body relaxing, feeling the tension leave. So again, taking in that beautiful deep breath of unconditional love, seeing it as a pink mist entering your body, filling your heart space, expanding your heart and breathing out and seeing the out breath as a grey mist as anything that no longer serves you is leaving your body and we're going through time and space through all dimensions again breathing in that beautiful unconditional love that beautiful pink mist breathing it in and this time see it in your mind's eye flooding through your body going to your toes your fingertips and the top of your head and breathing out, relaxing, going deeper and deeper and deeper. Breathing in again, breathing in that beautiful, beautiful, unconditional love. Feeling it, seeing it in your mind's eye, going into your cells, going into your DNA, interacting with your DNA and opening your DNA up. And breathing out, releasing, letting go. Feeling calm and peaceful. Breathing in again, beautiful unconditional love, breathing it in, flooding your body with that pink mist. This time it's going out through your skin, into your energy field. So you're now lying or sitting in a bubble of pure unconditional love. And breathing out, letting go. Going deeper and deeper and deeper into relaxation into the natural harmonics of your own body, of your own being. Bringing your breath back to what feels normal for you. Just feeling within yourself a calmness, a peacefulness, a beautiful pink mist that is running right the way through all your bodies, that's your physical body, your emotional body, your mental mind body and your soul body. That unconditional love's 
love floods through your entire being, going into each and every cell, each and every molecule. And on each out breath, all tension, all anxiety, all stress is just pouring out of your body, leaving your body as you go deeper and deeper into relaxation. Feeling calm and peaceful and safe in your own personal bubble. Now as we connect into the heart energy, I want you to just imagine that we're bringing some of that beautiful energy from your own heart and drawing it down into your solar plexus, into your tummy area, and then down into your sacral chakra, which is just below your belly button, and then down into the base of your spine, to your base chakra, down your legs, into your knees, down your shins and your calves, into your ankles and your feet. And out of the bottoms of your feet, going down into your earth star chakra, which is about 12 centimeters below your feet. Going down through a central funnel, connecting deeply within the earth. Connecting with the earth's heartbeat. And I want you to feel and hear the Earth's heartbeat. Just feeling the heartbeat of the Earth as your energy connects deeply within our Mother, who we know to be our Mother, who cares for us, loves us so your energy is now anchoring into the earth's heart the earth's consciousness and see your energy actually anchoring right in so that you stay grounded through this exercise and stay connected. And out of that central pillar that goes down into the earth, I want you to see a rooted system coming out all the way around and spreading out throughout the entire earth, connecting to all the mother crystals that are in you. crystalline beings that live within the earth that are connected to all the crystals, connecting deeply to them, also connecting to the earth's chakra system, the ley lines. raises and the earth's frequency raises, we will keep going through those dimensions up into the higher dimensions. So we're connecting into the 5D and beyond where the earth is in pure bliss, peace and harmony and love. So we're also now connecting to the ancient beings of the trees. They have witnessed so much. They are very powerful energy beings and the guardians of the land. We're also now connecting in to all of the kingdoms of the earth, the animal kingdoms, the plant kingdoms, the 
insect kingdoms, the fungi, and all the kingdoms of the earth. I also connect in to the beautiful multidimensional beings that live in the earth and on the earth. Connecting in on a deep level. So that you may, every time you walk out in nature, that you may connect with these beings, with the nature, and allow your consciousness to blend with Mother Earth.
sacral chakra. We're going to clear this energy center from any blocks, anything that no longer serves your higher purpose. We're going through time and space right down to the salt spark and clearing this energy center now. And as we're walking our way up the body system and we're opening ourselves up, there are many beings coming in to join us. Now all of your guides, our guides, archangels and angels, the God source, As we're connecting now back deeply within our own true selves into our own God source within. We're just calling upon all the masters to come and join us. The tribal elders and the ancient ones. Brotherhood of Light, the Galactic Federation of Light, and the High Councils, and the beautiful, beautiful, shining ones from the highest realms. We're also calling upon all of our beautiful interdimensional beings that are from the fifth dimension and beyond just to come and join us. And also our beautiful star nations, all the beautiful beings that work with humanity and for the good of the earth, call upon them all to come in very close to us now. As we're going deeper within the sacral chakra, deeper and deeper and deeper through time and space, lifting out any blockages that may be there, and lifting those blockages out now. So allowing that frequency now, that pure love and light to flood into this centre, go deeper and deeper. Opening up doorways that have never been opened before. Opening up those channels of creation to the universal mind so that you may bring forth new ideas. So that you may create abundance in your life and manifest your desires. Slowly moving up to the solar plexus. This is your powerhouse. This is where all your power is. This is your connection to the grand central sun, to the universe, the cosmos. Feeling that power within. We're going to go deep now within this chakra, within this multidimensional energy center, and we're going to clear any blockages, anything that no longer serves you, and we're going through time and space, through all dimensions, and lifting any blockages out now. And allowing the frequency of the crystal balls to enter into the center. Going deeper and deeper and deeper. Opening up doorways that have never been opened before.
going to move up into the beautiful heart center. And as we're connecting into the heart center, we're going to just take in a beautiful deep breath of that unconditional love. Feel it flooding in.
up into the third eye, to your pineal gland. Connecting in. Blocking the third eye through time and space, through all dimensions. Any fear based thoughts or feelings about your own intuition or any events that may have happened to you in any lifetime that has caused you to have fear and anxiety and to not trust your own intuition, we're going to remove that now, lifting it up and out. So allowing that frequency to fully enter into your third eye. Don't worry if you're starting to get head pressure in the center of your forehead. Just where everything now, this beautiful frequency of love and light and the crystalline bubbles. It's a liquid crystal going within your third eye to your pineal gland and opening it up, expanding it right the way down to the soul spark going deeper and deeper opening up channels and doorways that have not been opened before to new higher dimensions and to the beings from higher dimensions don't worry if you're starting to get head pressure by your ears as well it's all part of the expansion of your third eye now moving the energy the channels up into the crown chakra at the top of your head connecting deeply within the crown chakra and as we work on the crown chakra we're also going to be working on your upper cosmic centers connecting in on a deeper level is any fear-based thoughts or feelings about yourself as spirit, as pure soul, or anything that may have happened to you in this life or past lives, connecting into that now right the way down to the soul spark and lifting up and removing any fear-based thoughts, feelings or energy, lifting it up and out now from your crown and all your upper cosmic centers now. And allowing that beautiful sound as the frequency enters your upper cosmic centers and crown, going deeper and deeper and deeper, right the way down to the soul spark, connecting on a multi dimensional level. Opening up doorways that have never been opened before to higher levels of consciousness. Expanded consciousness, expanded awareness. Remembering that we're already connected to your heart and your higher consciousness, so we're bringing them both together now. reaching a much higher frequency than what we ever have before. Allowing the Earth's energy 
energy to go up through your cosmic centers and up to connect with the cosmos, the universe, God source, connecting deeply. in all that is, that space which is filled with emptiness and nothing and everything at the same time. A 
has something in their hand which they are holding out to you. And you can see it is a cup. see that this cup is filled with liquid light. Thank you. 
liquid light is interacting with your entire being through time and space, through all dimensions. beautiful energy in that place and those beautiful loving beings that are with you
el gozo going back into that zero point that nothingness nothingness that is everything that all that is
we're now going to start come back down. We're going to come back down through the chakras, coming back into the body, starting with the crown. As we come back into the crown, and we're just coming back in now through those cosmic centers and back down into the crown. Consciousness, we're coming back into the body very, very slowly. Coming back.
Feeling that connection. Feeling that creativity. That connection to the unified field, the creative mind. back into the room. Coming back. Coming back in. So we are going to say good night from myself and John. 
We're so glad that you've been able to come and join us for this sound bath and this high frequency, high energy, relaxing, anti-stress bath. It has been our pleasure to present this for you. Please share it so other people can experience. We love you very much and we thank you for joining us. And we wish you a beautiful, happy evening and a wonderful weekend, no matter where you are. Enjoy and spend time with your family as we're all in lockdown. And if you like, share this with your family over the weekend if you want. If, you, if you've got children, they might love it too. So we are going to say cheerio for now. Lots and lots of love from us. Take care and enjoy and play this as many times as you like. Lots of love. Bye.